What's up, YouTube? This is Joey, and um, yesterday uh, I want to tell you about because it was a very interesting day. Um, yesterday I dropped off my boyfriend. Now I live in Miami. He lives in Homestead, which is like 20 to 30 minutes away, depending on traffic, right? So on my way dropping him off, we were gonna go to like Publix first to to get his food and shit. Cause he ordered like a sandwich or whatever so we go over there um before even getting there uh some guy right next to me uh, beeps on beeps us and he tells us that i have a flat tire i'm like shit okay i have a flat tire so i'm thinking damn should i get, go back home and he's like no no it's not that bad it's not that ripped which is a mistake i kept going which is bad well what if it ripped you know what i mean and in this case, I had a nail in my in my tire, so you know it sucks. Um, so we went to Publix, whatever. I was pissed. I was stressed because um, I was just um, I was just thinking on the way back, you know, from dropping him off, you know, what's gonna happen, you know what I mean? So whatever, we're going on US one, and I put my um, my emergency lights right. Because I'm going 30 miles per hour and I decided to go slow just in case, you know. Like, I, I didn't want to go fast because maybe something will happen with the tire. So I decided to go 30 miles per hour. And, you know, people kept passing, you know, because they knew, you know, I had my emergency lights on. So then, um, I'm almost close to my boyfriend's house. Then I see this white truck in back of me, tall ass truck with his real high beam lights, right? All up in my face like this. And um he's just there and then I'm like, why is he like all up in my car, you know, all up in my ass? So my boyfriend's like, oh he's probably wants to probably wants to turn a, uh, left, you know what I mean? Because I was on the left lane. But then like he's all up on my ass like for five minutes straight. Like I passed already a few left turns and um there's space on the right lane like you can pass you know I'm like thinking I'm like no 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 I have a feeling that this guy wants to be an asshole right so okay so then it's my turn to make my left um to get to his complex right and I make my left and this guy asshole like passes by he, he said something about the lights he's like oh blah 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 fucking lights he said some shit. I don't know what he said because my window was up and I had my air conditioning on. So, whatever. I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. All right, I I make my left turn and I I was like, this fucking asshole just want to be a dumbass, you know? So then I see the truck, like he looked like he was gonna go fast, but then he slowed down, and I was like, okay, whatever. So I kept going. I dropped my boyfriend off. I went home. On my way back, I'm getting close to my house. Now this part I didn't tell, I didn't tell my boyfriend or anybody or my parents, because they would have been like, oh, you're not, you're never gonna go out ever again, you know what I mean, or drop off your boyfriend or some shit. And so, okay, so I'm, I pass like a Best Buy and there's like a a Best Buy and like a, what like a churches churches chicken whatever fast food, and I see those high beam lights all over my face again I look back by the the window not the window, the, the, the mirror this guy has been following me and I knew there was like a white truck in back of me but I didn't think it was him, you know what I mean? I was like, what are, what were the chances, you know? And this is it's this guy putting his lights on me again and I'm still going 30, I'm still with my, with my beam lights and I guess he found me because of the lights, you know what I mean? that I had on I was like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Like, first of all, I was scared, of course, because I'm, I'm, I'm alone in the car. But when it comes to a guy, like, trying to, you know, mess with me, I'm ready, whatever. Like, I'm not going to be, oh, my God, what's going to happen? I'm calling one. Fuck that shit. I'm going to, I'm going to defend myself because that's just the way it is. And that's how my mentality is, whatever. And I'm not, I'm like, like, I'm not the type to be into fights. I've never fought anybody and whatever. But when it comes to that, I was like, fuck that. I had my knife on my, um, blue glove compartment. 
and pepper spray which I had like in the back and I looked for it real quick and I put it like right next to me and the and the knife I put it in my pocket so I was like you know what this guy wants to do something or I don't know what the hell is the problem but what the hell so I pulled over to the right where like a parking parking uh, parking lot was so then um whatever um and bro this guy I just I was, I was just waiting for this guy and there's people around so I was like I felt safe because there's people around and cars kept passing whatever and um this guy like comes out of his car and then he, he comes to my 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 window and shit he's like oh dude what the fuck you almost made me crash um this and that you're supposed to be going 30 miles per hour and he starts like cursing at me in Spanish and I rang right right then and there I knew he was Cuban and it had to be a fucking Cuban, bro. So, anyways, um, anyway, uh, so he's like, I was like, first of all, you already knew I had my emergency lights back there, and I'm going 30 miles per hour, and you had enough space to get out of the way. And no, I didn't, I didn't almost um, start a car crash. You were right in back of me. So, and I was always going 30 miles per hour. It's not like out of nowhere I just stopped going slower, you know. To go slower, so he's like, "Oh no, whatever, this and that. Why you gotta do?" And then he was looking through my car, like, like, like he wanted to fight somebody else, or because I know he saw my boyfriend the first time he passed by me, but he then he he noticed that there wasn't anybody. He's like, "Oh, whatever, the, where's that? I don't know." He said something, and then I was like, "Whatever." And then I noticed that somebody was in his car, some other dude, and these kids were like 17 18 years old wanting to start shit with me i was like first of all why in the hell are you following me i'm like okay so like i left i let him talk i was like okay so what do you want to do so i got my knife and then just like popped it up i was like okay what do you want to do so he looked at it he's like haha no nah, man yeah 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 whatever you're not gonna do nothing i'm like really he's like so <laughs> like i had my pepper spray in my pocket and I was like, okay. So he, he was like trying to see what the hell I had in my pocket. He's like, no, 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 all right. Or like it's his face like totally changed because he, he saw me. I was real pissed off. And I've never been so pissed off. And like, I don't know. You know that adrenaline w rush that you have when something's about to happen? That's how I felt. Um. So his face totally changed when he saw me like trying to like reach something on my pocket. He's like, no, 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 no. Ma, it doesn't have to. Be, it doesn't have to be that way, blah blah. And then he he tells, <laughs> um, his friend. He's like, oh no, she has weapons, dog. And then his friend was like, come on, let's go, fool. <laughs> so then I was like, I was like, so so yeah, what's the deal? What do you want to do? He's like, and then the, fun, the 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 thing that was worrying me is that people kept passing by, and then I thought some somebody was gonna call the cops. Because um, yeah, he was causing the scene and he was screaming. So I was like, okay, what do you want to do? what do you want to do they're like oh no I'm just saying man don't do that ever again and so he left so I was like whatever so he dipped I dipped real quick cause people kept staring at me and like one lady like stopped to see what the hell was going on so I was like you know what I don't want nobody to get my license or nothing so I'm leaving and if somebody comes one day like this was yesterday last night and if somebody calls me or I don't know something happens I'll be like I was defending myself what do you want me to do so whatever, I went home after that, I was pissed off as hell, Ugh. and yeah, I got my shit changed, I got all the four tires changed, because my dad said it should be, it's better to be safe, so, it cost me like 230 bucks, my, paid, my dad paid half, which was real cool for him to do, but yeah man, fucking car pisses me off, so he has my story. And I don't know what was deal, what was the deal with that guy following me and shit. I was scary because if 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 it's something that he wants to do and, and like what shoot at me, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stab the motherfucker. But anyway, uh, stupid ass guys. Peace. <laughs>